Hey, thanks for watching the review. This is Sven on Tech video review for the Alpine IVA W505. And we're going to go ahead and start it up. And you will see here, as the camera focuses, the startup screen, which has got a nice blue background in the Alpine. And as you can see, startup is fairly quick. Here we have the Sirius uh, X, uh, satellite, Sirius XM, as they now refer to themselves, since Sirius and XM have uh, since merged in the last year. And as you can see here, the category name is shown, the channel name, the song, and the artist, both of which the details haven't yet streamed in through the satellite due to us being in a garage, so it's having a little difficulty getting that information. And you'll note other aspects of the screen. Right here you have the name of the band you're on, Sirius, and dot the dash one indicating uh, we're in band one of three, so you can make your presets three times as much as here, which we have six, so that's a total of 18, and there the Sirius has updated its information. Now you can see the song of the artist, and you can see when it's longer than 18 characters, it does scroll to give you that information. And then you have your controls for source, visual, and then setup, which we'll go into greater detail in next reviews. This is just an overview of what you'll see. I do quickly want to show you the style button because the style button does change the format of the look of the interface, which you'll notice now you get a greater amount of characters to display on the screen, which I find very interesting and I also find as a fault since you have this large screen here and it takes putting into the newer interface to give you a better look. I think they really should have utilized this real estate a little better, faded this aspect of somehow so we could have gotten more of that information like it does here onto this prettier screen. Now, of course, this screen does give you more information, tells you your preset number, what channel we're on, which is easier to see. It also gives you instant access to your base travel and subwoofer controls, which you don't have in this nicer style. If we go to source, you'll see the variety of other things that you can have. You can have your telephone, your Bluetooth audio, Sirius as we're on now, your CD, either uh, compact disc or DVD, your radio, AM, FM, terrestrial radio, iPod, and the navigation system. You can look online for our review at svenontech.com slash reviews for the navigation unit as we did review that as well. And you can back out of this if you'd like. The visual essentially just puts you into if you have the navigation, as you see it said nav up here in the right corner, and it gives you that option to go toggle between the two. The setup gives you the bulk of how you're going to set your system up. Uh, each of the setup entries are in what we call a soft button, so pressing it will bring you into it. And this is another issue I have with the W505. As you saw previously, all I had to do is press anywhere on this whole line and the button becomes active as one would think and goes into it. But now, all of a sudden, I have to come all the way over to the right and tap that button to get into my balance and fader, which is kind of silly if you ask me. While we're here, I'll show you this is kind of a neat trick. You can put your finger anywhere and it follows your finger to give you quick balance and fade at the same time precision. Again, all your other items here for your sound, balance, bass, high pass filter, sub woofer, your nav mix level. So when the navigation instructions come over, you can change that volume, how loud it is over your music and so forth. You also have your source setup, your display setup, general setup, system setup, LLC setup, and that's not limited liability company if you're wondering and so forth. Let's go to the uh, other items that you have. We have an iPod here for your selection it goes right into the iPod you also have your terrestrial radio which uh, we're not getting anything so you could do your DX seek local seek or manual and that lets you determine how when you press the left or right button what happens 
And as you can see, it's seeking up, looking for a station that comes in. And this is a classical station. And there is no RDS style of display information, uh, which is another interesting aspect of this unit being so powerful as it is I was really surprised to see the lack of RDS in here and then you can select your bands which gives you two FM's one AM you can change your page to give you different items down here on the bottom and that gives you an idea of the radio Bluetooth audio see it says searching was real quick and what the Bluetooth audio would do is log into any Bluetooth item, specifically a phone. And here's my iPhone logged into the Bluetooth audio. And if you can see right here down on the bottom, it does say Alpine KCE 400BT. That is the Bluetooth module that you connect to the W505 to give you that availability to do Bluetooth. <coughs> And as you can see, horrifies me to say, but it's true. And we have uh, full accessibility to the, what's on the iPod and the music. We're listening to a podcast in this instant, and we can now that's patently pause the uh, Bluetooth unit. But unfortunately, laughably ridiculous. But yes, it is laughable and ridiculous that I can not skip or go backwards. This is not the fault of Alpine, this is the fault of Apple, and it's retarding the Bluetooth uh, functionality, which is unfortunate. When you are in the BT, BT audio, you also notice your signal indicator here and the little Bluetooth icon. This allows you to see what your signal is on your phone. And yeah, AT&T, raising the bars. This button is a programmable button. I have programmed it for the phone, and as you can see, it instantly shows my dialed, received, missed, voice dial, and phone book. Uh, voice dial, unfortunately, does not work very well because it will show you that, that, that it fails. Uh, when it does work, it actually will work well. Uh, it does uh, initiate the call on the iPhone, but then it doesn't transfer the call on to the BT audio of the W505 for whatever reason, it will actually say call failed on the display. Again, I'm going to say this is an Apple issue since Apple has already revealed its lackluster Bluetooth support. Uh, as in for audio, uh, it sounds pretty darn good in the audio realm of the Bluetooth. Again, uh, and you can hear that unlocking of my phone, which... Uh, shows that it does a pretty darn good job of putting your sounds no matter what you have and here's the music obviously you're listening over the internet so you're not going to be able to enjoy the sonics of it but I'll tell you right now not bad just in case you want to know what I'm listening to yeah baby come back um that's by playa and uh another interesting thing lacking from here if you see the three dots yes no information from the iphone in what is playing currently which is another unfortunate thing again i'm going to blame apple for so in short that folks is the alpine iv a w505 i thank you for watching this for more in-depth reviews on other specific sources on this go to svenontech.com slash reviews for in-depth review of each component of the iv w505 and thanks for visiting sven on tech